Hi folks and a welcome to the channel and in this video uh, Oh yes some of them Oh, oh it's, a bit, oh, it's a bit windy around here love <laughs> So like I say in this video <laughs> we're going to take a look at the uh, the Sigma EX with 3D cabs from Audio Assault So let's check this out Yeah, so this is the Sigma EX or X or oh. where oh, uh, <laughs> Now you might be thinking to yourself, oh evil man, have you already done a review of the Sigma? Oh yes. Oh yes we have. We've done the Sigma and the Sigma V2, but this is the Sigma EX. Now basically it's an update to the Sigma V2. We'll go through the amps in and everything in a second. It's been a little tweak to the actual amp itself on on it. Oh, little tweaks. And there's one major difference, and it's coming to all the uh, all the audio assault amp sims are, or all the more current ones. And it's in the cab section. We've now got what they're calling. The 3D cab, this is the major update to it. Now you've got three different cabs in there. You've got this red one, or what they're calling the Sigma one. Now uh, this is a custom cab by uh, Alex over at Audio Assault. I don't know what, what cabs he's used in this, whether the V30s or whether the combination of different speakers. And the black one, that's an orange 4x12. Now that is loaded with V30s. And then you have this 2x12. Which is a sure 2x12 and that's loaded with cream back. Now, uh, the uh, the microphones used are the good old SM57 and a U67. So we'll come back to that in a minute. We'll pop it back onto the pop it back onto the uh, the Sigma cab. So in front of the amp, we've got three pedals. We've got a noise gate, which yeah is neat. And then you've got a boost, so you can just give a little bit of a boost to the uh, to the top end and the low end and then you've got your typical tube screamer which i've already got on in fact actually we might just switch that off a second and then you've got your amp itself which is the sigma amp this is like i say this is the version this is based off the version 2 like i say just a couple of a couple of little tweaks here and there but nothing to the to the user interface or anything like that it's actually within the program itself so for those of you that have not seen the uh, original sigma version 2 video i did and why not where have you been <laughs> Yeah, the, obviously the, this is called the Sigma, otherwise we wouldn't be doing it in this video. Stop it. <laughs> so yeah, it's basically a, a modded Marshall. So you've got three channels, you've got a clean, a crunch and a lead. So switch the, uh, the tube screamer off, so this is on cleans. And then you've got a crunch channel. Again, that's without tube schemer and a lead channel without tube schemer. Uh, 
Right, then we'll bang the tube screamer on. Lee Channel with the tube screamer. <laughs> So, on the amp itself, you've got three band EQ, Presence, Treble, Master, Focus, which sort of focuses where you want the... Uh... Basically the focus of the tone. And uh, you've got Gain, and then this High and Low Gain as well. And I forgot to show this earlier. Yeah, you've got the same effects that you had on the original one. So you've got an EQ if you want to add some EQ in there. So you take a bit of the uh, low, low on the sort of nasty mid range out of the guitar. <laughs> Bit of chorus. And delay, and you can sync it up to the uh, tempo of the song. And then some reverb. Although reverb doesn't really go with high game, but never mind. But let's come to the star of the show, the actual 3D cabs themselves. I like to see you've got two cabs, you've got the 57. And a U67. And you can have a blend of the two. Now, with each of these cabs, you can move cabs. With each of these mics, <laughs> you can move them about. So, but you can have them on any speaker. You can have them on both on both the same speaker if you want. go for a really dark sound you can put the 67 on the cap edge and the uh, the 57 right on the edge of the speaker and also ooh, when you move it about as it shows you there if you hold shift you can move the microphone back away from the cab which i think is pretty cool so we'll pop it back up there. Right, same with the uh, the U the U67. You can obviously move that one about. Say if you want them both right up close, or maybe just a little bit away. Mm -hmm. 
And it's him on all three cabs. That being a 2x12 rather than the 4x12, it's, it's got a sort of 2x12 honk to it. <laughs> but if you don't want to mess about with the 3D cabs, you can just click the IRs and just use a normal IR loader which you can put your own IRs in there and it's saying there you can have a balance of two different cabs And so the, you can move the microphone about there. But I've got to admit, I do like the visual. I do like, like I say, I do like having the uh, the visual sort of representation of where you're actually placing the mic. And I think these are three decent sounding cabs. <laughs> there there's the uh some sound examples of the new sigma x or ex whatever you want to call it <laughs> so let's see what it sounds like in a mix That was the Sigma EX or X, whatever. It's your choice, it's your decision. 
<laughs> whatever you want to call it. Here's the Sigma, the brand new Sig version of the Sigma from Audio Assault. What do I think about this thing? Does it get the finger of doom or does it get the wizard seal of approval? Anybody that's been watching this channel for any other length of time knows I'm a big fan of Audio Assault and their products, especially their amp sims. And this is no exception, this gets the wizard seal of approval. Now the, the, the sound of the Sigma's not really changed at all, the, the interface has not really changed, but I do like these 3D cabs. Now all three cabs have got the place, where, now whether the all, all three of them are, are to your taste, that's, that's your decision, not mine. <laughs> right, so you've got that Sigma cab, that red one, the uh, the black orange, black orange. I don't know whether you want to eat any black oranges. <laughs> and on the, uh, the little Shure 2B12. And you've got those two microphones. I say you've got the good old 57 and a U67. So you can blend your own tone. You can get your own tone so you're at home with the real amp and cab. And, and a couple of different microphones. And you can place them wherever you want. Now, I know that they're going to be rolling this out to all the uh, the other amp sims. I think the RVXX is going to be the next one from what I've read. Uh, but yeah, I know they're rolling it out to the RVXX, the Hellbees version 2. Yeah, I would say they'd be doing... The Bulldog's not been mentioned, but I can't see him not putting it onto the Bulldog as well. And possibly, I've not seen anything about the Black sun i nearly said black star then <laughs> Shh. <laughs> the black sun it may get put on there as well but yeah as far as i'm aware it's going this is going to get rolled out to all the uh all the other amp teams it's just going to take alex a little while to get everything updated and yeah i think he's done fantastic work what well, i did forget to mention yeah that is high and low pass filters in there as well if you want to use them but i'll put a link to the uh to the Audio Assault website where you can grab this from. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments. And if you want to grab yourself some Evil Wizard merch, there's a link to the merch store down in the description. But that's all from me, folks. I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Right folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. You can follow me on social media and you can get my music online. And if you want to support the channel, there's uh, Buy Me A Coffee and PayPal links. They're all down in the description. Click up here to subscribe and click the link down there for videos that you may not have seen. Keep it loud and keep it heavy.